All right, just showing up to Sean Duris's house today. He's gonna show me how to be just like him. Super excited. Hey, here's a dog. <laughs> All right, rough start to the day, but hey, here with Sean. Hey guys, we're gonna have some fun today. Yeah, that'll be good. And oh, ooh, careful, Sean. What's first on today's list? Going skateboarding. Oh, nice. I, on. I don't need a helmet. <laughs> look, I'm not. Okay, look, I wasn't ready to try something that big. It was an ollie in the grass. Okay, well, I'm sorry. All right, couple hiccups, but Sean, what's next? You want to be Sean Duras? You gotta look like Sean Duras. Okay, my head's pretty big. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry, I... That... My grandma gave it to me, but it's okay. Let's have more fun. This place is legit! Yeah, man, welcome to the space station. Let's uh, grab some cereal and play some video games, huh? Now that I can handle! <laughs> oh, ah, it's okay. Ah, uh, yeah, Sean, so. I'm so sorry, man. I, I, was, just... I was just playing some video games, and I, I better get going after this, so... Um, the last thing. Fire, fire, fire. Get out I told you not to do that! I'm sorry, okay? Get out of the way, get out of the way. Hey! That was fun, kid. I think we could be done now. Yeah. That was, that was fun. That's, I'm ready for the interview, too. That'll be that'll be good. There's an interview? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God! Oh! Please welcome Sean Duras. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Dude, take a seat, take a seat. Dude, you got the winner dog pillow? Oh my gosh. Listen to that crowd. But look at the wiener dog pillow, listen to it. <laughs> there it is, there it is. Man, that I crowd. This entire... I'll put my camera away and you we can just We should just do a bunch of entrances cameras, tonight. I know. Okay. <laughs> just... Let's I'm just gonna... speak to that camera tonight, all night. Yeah. How you doing, man? Good, I'm great now that yeah. I'm here and I don't feel nervous. I was nervous about that rolling, like what if I fell on the internet saw? Ah, don't now. worry about it. <laughs> you know what? Um, I hope you don't mind. I thought I'd just, uh, real quick here. Do you mind if I just take a quick snack break? Uh, yeah, for sure. I got, uh, I got 2% milk. <laughs> I got almond milk for me. What, uh, you want any of those you cereals? You actually have cereal. Let's go, uh... It's actually real cereal in there. Let's go Reese's Puffs. That All right. sounds incredible. <laughs> I'm going uh, CTC, a little Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh my gosh, okay. I'll put this away again. Awesome. But seriously, you got cereal. Do you even, I mean, this might be a random question, but do you even like cereal? Or? I love cereal. Oh, okay. So that's like, yeah, people are like, do you really love cereal? And I just made a cereal dispenser in my house. So, you know like, when you go like to Like the, the Winco wall type of thing? Yeah, but better. Um, yeah, because yeah, they yeah. suck. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> So it's like all the dispensers, and I put in all my favorite cereals. And then the last dispenser, I kept it as a, a, a disp it dispenses puffs for my baby. I have a nine-month-old kid, you know? Oh, nice. And so it has baby puffs in it. And then so when she's like kind of getting out of hand a little bit, you just dispense those baby puffs, and she quiets right up. It's like a hamster with her it, little It is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite cereal? Because yes. this, this is a serious question. Because I will debate this with people. What is, your, what is your favorite cereal? The thing is, I actually eat it so much that I don't really have a favorite because then you would get sick of it. I've been eating it since I was a youngster. It's like, what are you going to do today? Are you gonna, is it an office day? Are you going to be sending emails all day and kind of snacking? You need an office let's, cereal. Let's, you know, let's get that like delicious like fruity pebbles. You know, you're Liven cookie, it up. Yeah, yeah, your cookie crisp, all that stuff. Just like delicious. You're going to have an office day. You'll be snacking, you know? But wait. Am I going snowboarding today? It's gonna be like a grueling day. Am I on the set? No, you gotta go frosted shredded wheat for that. You gotta go raisin bran. You, <laughs> you need your get, fiber, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You gotta have a hearty meal before so, you So I mean, that. it really just kind of depends on what you're doing. There's no right cereal. It's very situational. Some people just pour a bowl, but no, you gotta. That's kind of taking your cereal game to the next level. I'm gonna be yeah. honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So, so let's talk about let's, let's talk about Snapchat or just cereal. Whichever. Or let's talk about cereal. Okay, just stick on that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to cereal chat. I'm, I swear I'm fully focused on your cameras now. <laughs> So I, I do daily videos on YouTube. I like doing that. Oh, other okay. Than Snapchat, but we can talk about Snapchat first because that's what I did first. Let's let's do it. You are the first and only viral Snapchatter. Is that right? There's lots of people that are big on Snapchat, but they are big on YouTube or Vine or whatever Fertz or they're Justin Bieber, and so they get Snapchat, and they actually have more followers than me because they brought over this large audience. But I'm the largest account that is uh, homegrown on Snapchat. Like I just started making cool Snapchats and. Then people are like, that's cool. And then they told their friends, and then they added me. And now I have like 
hundreds of thousands of people that like check out my snaps every day, and so I just do cool stuff on Snapchat, and then people check it out. So I'm that's the biggest awesome. guy to just like start from the beginning. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome, man. Scream it from the mountaintops. Right? Definitely. We actually have an example. Let's show one of my favorite examples, actually, of a Snapchat story. Where that do I look? Done. It's all over. Okay. Let's, let's cue that. Oh, it will pop up above us. You've selected Sean Durris. Okay, so how did you do the blood? Did you have someone waiting and just kind of over the face? So that Snapchat, there's no like editing or fixing it afterwards. Right. It's all made in the app, like record it and everything. So we found this red plastic bag, it was like a red Shopco or Target bag or something, and we stretched <laughs> it till it was really thin. And then when I fell down and was filming, my friend just grabbed the plastic bag and slowly like drizzled it over the camera lens and it looked really it good, It looks right? legit, it looks awesome. I know. Oh, that's amazing. And so all that like, I was I was hanging out with my buddies Corridor Digital, they have a YouTube yeah, channel. Love so Corridor. they have like that Minecraft hallway where they film some videos. So I was like, oh, this looks like a video game hallway. <laughs> they have the props, sound effects, you know, it was all just done on the spot. And that's what's cool about Snapchat. You have to be creative to make something kind of interesting. You know, it, it doesn't have like, the most user-friendly features, so. Yeah, you really gotta throw new stuff but in there the all the time. But that's the fun part, right? Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Okay. The cool thing about social media is there's so many amazing, mind-blowingly amazing things that you can actually accomplish through social media. Like, you've been able to travel a lot mm -hmm. because of your Snapchat. What are some like the best places you've traveled because of your Snapchat? All over, so I did this fun thing with Disney where they have a 24-hour event where the park's open for 24 hours, and I started in Disney World at 4 a.m., spent half the day there, and then flew to Disneyland. The time zones kind of caught me up on my fly time. <laughs> and then spent the second half of the day in Disneyland. So both Disney parks one day. It was pretty rad. That is awesome. I know. That's the dream, man. We went to Bangkok, played around with elephants and tigers. Next week I go no to deal. Ireland with Casey Neistat. He's a really? YouTube guy as well. We're going yeah. to Ireland, yeah. Your best day ever. The yeah, let's you just do started. that. Let's talk Why about Why do you call him the best day ever? Um, because... Me, personally, I think vlogs are boring. <laughs> and I was hesitant to let's start be, Let's one. be real. Let's be I real. know, yeah. It's just like, why, like, well, I'm like a super hyperactive person, so why would I want to watch somebody else live their life when I could just go live my own, you know? <laughs> Which is like bad, because I want people to watch my life. Like, so come watch mine. Subscribe and watch my videos. No. Um, but when it's just like hanging around the house, like, now we're going to do this, now we're going to do this, now we're, and it's just like a to-do list for the day. It's kind of weird. So, like, I try and make mine more about the adventure and how I choose to live my life in like a positive way and make every day the best day ever. Stuff always goes wrong, but then we make the best out of it. Stuff goes right, we make the best out of that. And it's more of like, uh, I don't know. What yeah, the making, is, an, awesome. making an adventure out of the day. And it's totally, <laughs> that's totally how it comes off through your vlogs too. Let's, uh, let's show an example of when you played with fire extinguishers. Okay, oh One yeah, of my that was really fun. That was a fun yeah. best day ever let's, for me. Let's do that. Let's do it. We are meeting at an abandoned car wash. It's gonna get weird today. We made it, time to have some fun. Lincoln and Dan are here. Get, have some fun with some fire extinguishers. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna cut them open, see what's inside, but first we're gonna have some fun with them. Is it all good now? Let's do that. Lincoln, how was that? Crazy. Ready for round two? <laughs> Oh boy, that's when you know things get serious. All right, that's after like 
an hour and a half. Yeah. It, it's like it's, it repels water. It's the exact <laughs> opposite of concrete. It hasn't even mixed. <laughs> that is the end of this behind the scenes with what's inside. That's the end. See you guys. High five. Hey, not bad. I love it. No, I really like that approach of doing your vlogs as the best day ever because yeah. it's cool to see people's uh, you know perspective on life, but at the same time, put a new movement behind it, put a new, a fresh take on it. As why not try to make every day the best day ever? I really like that. Man. I agree. Yeah. And why play not? with fire extinguishers. Play with fire that extinguishers. Also, what's inside? Another YouTube channel is really cool. Ooh, we also did a like refri. We got a refrigerator and went sledding down a giant hill in a refrigerator. That's that awesome. would have been a good clip for the show. Play that clip right now. Are we ready for that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Download it and play it right I, I now, please. I you could just say whatever you want and it just pops <laughs> yeah. up. Chimichanga right now, please. Am I doing okay for this talk show, by the way? You're doing amazing. Well, I don't okay. know. What does the audience think? That's a good question. There you go. That's nice that they just do that. They just do that. I it's love it. It's a nice it. little ego boost yeah. whenever you need it, man. You love connecting with people and everything you do is just, it's a brand new way to connect with people and kind of take it to the next level. Yeah, I think that's right. A lot of my uh, a lot of my social media, both Snapchat and YouTube, is based off of you know the people I connect with on the internet, and it's less of like I create content and then they consume the content. It's more in the middle, like everything's engaged and they choose my day and they tell me what to do. And if we're gonna go on a trip somewhere, they help plan where we're going. And um, I think it's a lot more fun. Like if I was just worried about always just filming something cool on the internet, that'd get old. But since I have like mm -hmm. this communication, I comment back and I, I read all the comments every night before bed and it's fun. I comment back to people. It's like, it's more fun, you know? It's like hanging out, like having a group of homies. It's like this thing where we tell them to cheer, but it's like on the internet. So every day I post a video and then the internet <laughs> cheers and then I talk back to it. It's fun. That's awesome. Have you had any um, experiences with fans or anything like unique to you that you get out? of your social media experiences? So it's really cool because I have that like positive vibe and outlook on life and just yeah. like every day is the best day ever whatnot. I get people reach out to me all the time that they're like, man, I was always like bummed on life and frustrated that things weren't working out, but I totally dig your like, just make the best out of everything vibe and it's really helped me and I love how you're always smiling and laughing and just like whatever else. And so I've tried to kind of like for my life after that as well and it's helped me a lot and then like the past couple months have been awesome and I watch everybody and so wow. it's that's cool amazing. because like I guess that's kind of a corny answer but it's the real answer it's awesome to see people like decide to be more positive you know when you finish watching a movie and you're like wow and you like think in your mind like that's important or like that whatever the feeling the movie gives you yeah is. yeah like I, I like to think that I give that people those those people that feeling after they watch my videos are like man I just want to crush it at life and not like <laughs> worry so much or be stressed well, dude, let's uh, let's end with a little cereal. Uh, it's over. A little snackage. We did it. We, I mean, we. Well, we gotta eat cereal first. All definitely. right. Well, I've been eating the whole time. Well, um, mm. his name is Sean Duras. You can mm -hmm. find him on Snapchat. Mm -hmm. In fact, this whole interview. If you want to follow him, check out his channel. Check out his Snapchat. You, the first link in the description below will take you to his guest profile on our website. And also, anything that's popping up right now, whether it's a card or an annotation or anything like that. Can we have my link? YouTube pop up? Check my this YouTube out. will pop up. Check this out. You ready for this? Yeah. Get your ears ready. Whatever's popping up right now, take you right to your channel. Boom. How's that? Best day it's going to pop up in a card which does mobile and desktop. Best day ever How's right that there. for back end? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. So if you want to check out Sean Duras, be sure to check out his links. You can find it during this whole interview. Go check out his channel. It's awesome. If they go to my channel, hold on, hold the applause. If you come to my channel Wait. from this interview thing, leave a high five. Say like, high five, I came from the late night show, so I know you're new and I can talk to you and whatnot. Is that okay? Can I say that? I love it. Do it. Leave a high five. Let's do two high fives no. together. <laughs> yeah. That's our show. Subscribe, rate, like, follow Sean Duras. Good night.